multiplied by our speed. Now, let's go ahead and trace these values. So, let's trace our x speed. And also our y speed. And let's see what we get. Oh, whoops. I'm going to delete this frame here. Okay, so we can see that our x speed is 3 because we're moving completely on the x plane. And then as we start to turn, our x, our x speed is going to start decreasing and our y our y component of our speed is going to start increasing although it's a negative number because we're going upwards so then once we get completely vertical we'll see that our y our y speed is going to be 3 exactly and our x is going to be uh, that's pretty much 0 it's a very small number so if we continue to rotate here we can see that now our x uh, component of our speed is a negative number which means we're going from right to left and our y is still negative so we're still going upwards and once we pass the horizon once again now our x is still negative we're still going right to left but our y is a positive number so we our car will be traveling downwards and then once we go into our fourth quadrant here uh, our x is going to be positive again because now we're moving from left to right and since we're moving down our y is positive as well so that's looking pretty good now let's come back to our action script and let's let's make this let's give this car some actual movement so to make our car move since we already have our proper x and y speeds instead of tracing those values we're going to make the uh, x coordinate or x position of the car we're going to add the x speed onto that uh, coordinate so our movie clips x position is going to increase by our x speed and same thing for the y coordinate now our car is always going to be moving because we haven't uh, we haven't put in any acceleration or deceleration, but let's see what happens here. Okay, so car's moving, and now I'm going to turn left because that's the only direction I can turn. And we can see that it's actually moving uh, the way we would imagine a car to move. So, so far so good. Uh, now let's just add in uh, some more steering, so we want to be able to turn our car to the right as well. So let's uh, come back to our action script here, and I'm just going to copy our left key function, and I'm going to change this to right, and instead of subtracting 3, we're going to add 3. And I'm also going to set our initial speed to 0, and I'm going to paste once again, and we're going to detect our up key and when we press our up key our speed is going to equal 3 and if our up key is not pressed we want our speed to equal 0 so we want our car to stop moving so there we go now we test this out the oh, car is not moving, I hit up now we're moving, I release and it stops and you can see that it can also can also steer in both directions. So this is uh, it's coming along pretty good. Um, we want our car to have momentum though, so if I were to release the key, uh, it's not just going to stop, it's going to keep cruising for a little bit. So right now it's just stopping instantly. So let's, uh, let's build in a little bit of uh, momentum into our uh, little physics model here. Now since we don't want our car to uh, to drop to zero speed uh, once we release the up key we're gonna 
first we'll get rid of this first line here where we set our speed to zero initially and then we're gonna come down here so if our if our up key is not pressed down our speed is not going to equal zero what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply it by a number that's slightly less than one so let's say 0 0.9 so if our, if our speed is 3 and then we release the up key uh, that 3 is going to be multiplied by 0 0.9 so it's going to decrease slightly uh, every time it enters the keyframe so let's go ahead and test this out so I release the accelerator now and we can see our car slowly comes to a stop and that's basically basically what we're looking for Now let's say we want to incorporate some acceleration into our car here. Uh, first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll set a acceleration uh, variable to our car here. And let's just call it 0 0.3. And that's what that is, is the our speed is going to increase by, oh, let's set to 0 0.2. Um, our speed is going to increase by 0 0.2 uh, when we have our accelerator down. So instead of setting the speed to 3, we're going to increase our speed by our acceleration. Um, let's also set a variable called max speed. And let's say our max speed is 3. And now we only want to increase our speed if our if our speed is less than or equal to our max speed which is 3 so if if this speed is less than or equal to our max speed our our speed is going to increase by our acceleration so once again if our up key is down and our speed is less than our maximum speed we're going to increase our speed by our rate of acceleration which we set to 0 0.2 up here and another thing we have to do is we have to set our our speed to equal zero because um, we can't start uh, changing a variable that we haven't set yet so let's go ahead and Let's increase our acceleration a little bit, and I'm also going to also going to increase our frame rate here. Now, if we test this code, everything should be working. So, start accelerating, start turning, and I'm going to let go of the accelerator, and yeah, it comes to a stop pretty quickly there. But uh, th these values you can always uh, you can always play around with, and the best way to do this is always to have your variables. For example, instead of using three here, we can set our uh, turn uh, turn radius, or what was this called? Turn turn speed to a uh, number. Let's say let's say nine, and then instead of explicitly saying three, we can just say uh, this dot turn speed and that way if we want to make any changes to our turn speed all we have to do is come up here and change this number right here and same with our our deceleration we'll call it uh, decel and we'll set our decel to 0 0.98 so now if we test this out can see that it's uh, a little more fine-tuned although our turning radius is a little so that's pretty tight so let's uh, let's drop that to 5 and let's set our maximum speed to 10 so uh, yeah that's uh, it's a pretty pretty fast car